and a sideways jump. <laughs> the car is so controllable, honestly. Wow, this is so good. Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back, not at the Nürburgring, but actually somewhere in Sweden where we are having the first hand experience with the new Kia EV6 GT. Now before we're gonna do some crazy performance stuff such as drag racing, drifting and also a track handling course, let me give you a quick walk around around the car because it's my first hand experience and uh, there are re really some interesting features that I would like to show to you but first I already mentioned drag racing, drifting and handling performance could you have imagined a decade ago that we would have here a 585 horsepower high performance vehicle doesn't matter whether it's EV or not from Kia that's and it's really something that gets me excited I'd like to apologize for some uh, airplane sound because we are actually next to the airport but we have to live with that so um, another important note is that I want to say be uh, in case you're new to this channel this is a, like a, a performance oriented Nürburgring oriented channel most importantly performance oriented but also important to know that uh, I have a Polestar 2 that I've been driving already for over half a year by now and I actually say that Polestar 2 for me is a benchmark car in its class when it comes to the overall performance, the handling, also the price, the quality, etc, etc. And so far everything else was kind of meh. But this car, could it be better than, on some surfaces it is better than a Polestar 2, definitely. Uh, on some things it has shortcomings, so it's definitely really a car that uh, Piques my interest. So let's talk quickly about it. Now, first of all, I would like to talk about the design. And I spoke to the designer behind this car, and he actually said, Well, maybe you can put the, the video on pause and think, what does this car remind you of? Actually, when they started designing this car, he gave his design team Lancia Delta as the inspiration and said, Well, I would like to have something of similar look similar proportions and when you look at it it actually does have something like that a modern interpretation of a Lancia Delta really like the spoiler here on the back this double spoiler especially when you're like driving behind it it is definitely a very very successful design I would say there are lots of features that I really like but let's talk first and foremost about the performance aspect about some features as mentioned 585 horsepower crazy under three and a half seconds zero to 100 actually did some measurements here and i think the car did 3.25 which is great now important thing with great power comes great responsibility so what we have here is specially developed for the car mission and tires pilot sport 4s but they actually are sort of silent tires you must say there's like a layer of foam inside to reduce the noise it also has EDC suspension which is quite soft I must say even when you put it on sport mode it is still quite soft but everyone from Kia also admits it's not a like a super sports car it is a GT so it still need to remain to be soft if there is some sort of a compromise um, one thing that I want to say is that I am not particularly fan of the brakes during our drag racing we actually I noticed that the braking performance was not completely there as I would like to have especially from such a car with so much power so much weight and also ability to go 260 kilometers per hour something that many EVs cannot do for example even uh, yeah, I believe even the, no, the Taycan Turbo S can do, go 260, but like e-tron, RS e-tron GTE is 250, Pulsar 2 is 210, etc. So this is quite fast. You can even see that there is some sort of like different colorization on the brake disc. Now, of course, this car has been hammered on by many journalists and press people, but what I'm getting at, the brakes could be bigger if you really want to push it so that's like my um, like number one thing that I don't necessarily like about the car yeah and suspension is of course a bit soft but overall it does a pretty good job now another thing actually <laughs> this car if you want to have it 
Tough luck because it is sold out. Kia told me that uh, when they launched their Stinger GT, which was their first like performance sedan, they got 11 pre-orders and they had the massive celebration at the HQ saying like, oh my God, this was so great. At the launch of this car, everything was sold out. They had to close the books, like the, 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 the close the pre-ordering books uh, for, well, until further notice. So in Germany, definitely for a year in advance, it sold out. In Korea, it sold out for two years in advance. So it will be very tough for you to get one. And why? Because of all these crazy numbers. And in Germany, the price at first was 65,000 euros. This is basically equal to Polestar 2. This is significantly less than other cars and you get so much more in return. When the orders will be made available again, the car will probably cost a bit more hopefully it will stay under 70,000 euros but even then 75,000 euro is at this point the price of a Mac E Mustang and I think yeah this car definitely is significantly better so before we jump in let me walk you through a couple of other features so overall as mentioned I like the design also the interior design let me take off the polarizer filter already having my GoPro set up one thing that I'm not completely fan of is the mirror because coming from a Polestar 2 where you have frameless mirrors, this is kind of, it feels, well, really lump, big and outdated. What I do really like is this Infinity display, you could say, very handy, very convenient. Massive shout out to the design team for having physical buttons for air conditioning. Everything else here, for example, is touch. You can switch on or off, but the heat is very important. It is still physical and big physical button that you can twist. Very nice. Lots of different options. Most importantly, the driving modes. You have here the GT mode. Well, the, from the regular modes, you have Eco, Normal and Sport. But when you press the GT button, you're gonna have the GT mode itself. Or alternatively, you have the My Drive mode where you can completely customize everything. So let's go quickly there. So there we go. And you can adjust then the motor, basically the response, the steering, the suspension, the ELSD and ESC, which can go completely off. And the big thing with this car is that off means off. It also comes with the drift mode where you can really send it and make like really big smoky clouds. And this is something that you cannot switch off or engage with many other EVs. So you have some sport modes, but even then it's not really sport. And that's really impressive. Again, coming from Kia, of course, nowadays, their sister company, Hyundai, which is sharing the same R&D center. It's really impressing the world with the performance and also with design. But yeah, it's something that gives other companies to look at and actually learn from and be jealous of. Furthermore, really like the central control unit and also lots of space that it's offering underneath. And uh, you can, th there's a really lots of storage space. Now, one more last final thing before we start driving, because I'm sure if you haven't skipped already to, to that uh, part yet. Uh, seats, definitely, I think they might be, again, the best seats that there are in class in comparison to, com to competitors. Very nice bucket seats. The only thing that they're missing are electric controls. There are manual controls, but honestly, I could not care. On the back, also, very nice quality. Lots and lots of space. Um, the biggest shortcoming of a Polestar 2 for me are the rear seats and here you have lots of comfort and lots of space so that's also again a plus for me all right i think enough about first impressions let's do some driving all right the first part is going to be the handling course and ahead of us is instructor lucas that you actually know from earlier drift video from beginning of the year which was organized by a friend Franz and I had the taxi lap in his Drift S15 I think with the last engine uh, it was quite fun so now we'll be having some other fun in Sweden with the EV6 let me see we are in the GT mode traction control off yeah because why not okay well let's see what this baby can do <laughs> look at him go <laughs> Wow, <laughs> yeah, uh. <laughs> there is so much 
happening and there is so much power 585 but it's still quite controllable there's a bit of understeer so you really need to work with throttle to make the rear come out <laughs> again going back to the intro of this boat just going sideways through the corner and i'm not a drifter guy <laughs> going back to the intro of this video have you ever thought that you could do things like this with a kia <laughs> Wow! Ooh, narrow through here. Wow! I am speechless. I want to drive this car on the ring, honestly. Really, really, really good. Ha! Oh, can it even do a bit of. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, okay, slowing down because there are people on the track. It's good when you have a private track to yourself. I apologize for the noise of the walkie-talkie flying around. I should put it somewhere else, probably. Maybe here would be a bit better. <sighs> I am impressed what this car can do. Huh. Whoa! <laughs> the jump! Ah, the distance assist. This is really impressive. And it's really, the handling is really good. Another thing that I'm not sure if we will be able to test today is the how well the battery is coping. Because the biggest thing, of course, with EVs is how it's handling the thermal management. The tires are getting really hot right now at this point. I think at this point I would also would like to give a quick shout out to the marketing department of, or press department of Kia for making such a fun press experience. <laughs> this is really, really good. Wow. We're not going this fast earlier today, but now it's like really starting to blow my mind. <sighs> and a sideways jump. <laughs> holy cannoli! <laughs> or should I say holy, what's the... Holy kimchi, that's more Korean. <sighs> the car is so controllable, honestly. This is so good. This is so freaking good. Luca said we're gonna do four laps. We really need to stop after this because I know myself. We just keep pushing it, pushing it, then we're gonna end up in the tree. Come on. We had a bit of. Tires are getting really hot at this stage. Understeer, understeer. Really, really, really good. Okay, one more lap than it is. Or not. Yeah, we do one more. Tires are really hot, but it's just so much fun. So let's do one more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we did so. Let's go. Sideways jump. Oh. Why is he hitting the pole all the time? Let's try to drive a bit more precise this time and not as much. I love this, how you can just like trail brake tip the, the, the nose in and the car just slides wow this is phenomenal i was sure we're driving a kia not the hyundai n yeet the traction controls by the way fully off as I mentioned earlier off off means actually off off
<laughs> Missed the apex there, should have stayed more on the outside. It's one thing when you put a lot of horsepower in the car, but to make it handle this way, it's that something completely... That's how I'm smart, I think I hear you, know? <laughs> that much fun, right? Yeah, this track. yeah, but it's like, you know, you wouldn't expect it. Yeah, it, like, that, that's the, what the, I told you in the morning. You like, know? honestly, with, with such a car, yeah. And imagine like 10 years ago, Kia, yeah. sorry, <laughs> Kia Picanto, <laughs> you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really nice. It's, it? it's, it's the, the handling is really good. Yeah. Like, of course, it's like, it, it's a bit understeery, like very tiny bit, it's, it's, but you can trail brake and the car just like, yes, exactly. you know, it's like. Yeah, that's what you do. Uh, don't don't uh, forget, it's, it's not a, a sports car. No, it's exactly. GT, you know? Yeah, that, and that's the yeah. thing. And it's uh, it like I'm really blown away by the handling. Yeah, yeah. Like it's. You can also handle it very good via the with the brake and then. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what we were doing. In front. Yeah, I, I think like the third corner, like this right hander, yeah. like you you're really like, like tipping <laughs> in and just car car just goes. It's yeah. uh, it's really nice. It's impressive. Mm, smell the brakes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we go one round. Yeah, to yeah, cool down. Cool down Let's do it. Start or something? vehicle is driving on yes you're right oh uh, can we swap the positions because of the camera so um, the other camera can see the other car for sure I think that's no problem you're not the only youtuber I also have cameras running <laughs> uh, <let's> see. <laughs> we can change after that one maybe do another one no problem <laughs> two out of two wins come on <laughs> mr. autogefühl Yeet! Right side. I think it was definitely faster without applying the brake. <laughs> ah, he's getting away! <laughs> so, drift mode. Yes, exactly. Drift mode. Um, actually, you go into sports mode here. Uh -huh. um, you go into the parking position, you press the braking pedal. Yeah. Okay. Then you got the ESP off switch on the left hand side. You hold it yeah. for a longer time. I think more than five seconds. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then you pull both pedals to you. Yeah. Or just tap. Yeah. And oh. then. You are in drift mode. Uh -huh. Okay, drift uh -huh. mode activated. <laughs> and <laughs> exactly, <laughs> you, you shouldn't be on a public road then. <laughs> no, no, for sure. <laughs> okay. okay, so input. Okay. No. Ah, yeah, no. Too bad again. Yes, yes, that's it. Now you got it. You see how you play with the throttle? Yeah. Yes, that's it. Uh, too much? Yeah, a little bit too much. Yeah. You see? That's it. Try to go in bigger circles uh -huh. and try not to steer too much to the left. Mm -hmm. Again. And go on, go on, go on, go on. Okay, and play with the throttle. Play with the throttle. Pumping, pumping. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That was right. You can see the smell already. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yes, and pumping, pumping, pumping with the throttle, pumping with the throttle. Ah. Yes, not too bad. It's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get there, but the tires will be gone before I get there. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. 
you can try it in the other way around because we always use the outside oh, yeah. a little bit more than we you see that's harder right yeah if you sit outside yeah, now it comes ah, okay again and again and counter steering and throttle counter steering not too much throttle yeah play with the throttle yes 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 that's it that's it we got it we got yeah. it we got it <laughs> <laughs> oh, look in the back. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Okay, counter steering and throttle. Ah. You know, you know what the difference is? What? The tires are hot. Ah. And now you really have to really give, yeah? yeah more throttle. That's the difference. They are so creepy right now. They are so grippy right now, that's yeah. the difference, really. That's true. Whew. Really like those door handles, by the way. Lucas, thank you so much. It was really, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> it was really <laughs> awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome. It was honestly one of the best press trips I've experienced. The first one in two years and what a car. I mean, you could see it on my face when we were driving it, as mentioned. Uh, I cannot believe that this is a Kia. Like, the, the, if this is a Kia, what can Hyundai N do? Hmm. We will see, we'll find out. So. In short, I think it will all come down to the new price of the car, but it might be, honestly, at this point, the best possible EV that you can buy performance-wise. Of course, some limitations regarding the brakes. Suspension could be a bit tighter if you would like to, but it's a GT, even for GT, the stuff we were doing, <laughs> it, it, it's there. So my only question would be the brakes, but then again, it comes also with 800 volt uh, architecture, so very fast charging. Maybe not as bad when it comes to the heat regulation, or to say like that it doesn't run too hot like other cars. So yeah, the future is bright, unless Lucas is driving because there's lots of clouds. <laughs> cool. Well, I hope it gets you excited, or, or maybe sad. Maybe it gets you sad because uh, all those cars are sold out. So yeah, stay tuned and I'm very much looking forward to see what Kia and in this case also Hyundai will be surprising us with. And if you're watching, I'm sure some people from Kia are watching. I need this car on the ring. One lap, two laps, couple of laps. And then it's going to be cool. So hopefully we can make it happen. Thanks for making this possible. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye.